Hey yo, what is up guys, it's your boy Dwayne here, we finally made it! We finally got it, we got item level 600, and truth be told, I could have gotten this way faster if I had certain pieces of knowledge that I have right now. That is also the reason for this video, because I'm going to show you the mistakes that I made and how to correct them quite fast so you can get yourself item level 600 with probably in 4 or 5 days of playing. But before we start this video, if you found it helpful, please drop a like, subscribe for more content, helps me grow the channel, but without further ado, let's get into the video. So once you reach yourself level 50 and go over here to the Chaos Dungeon, this is where you can receive your very first gear. Going up to then the bottom right is uh, this thing where you can simply say I want to upgrade these things and it will cost you uh, Guardian Stone Fragments, Harmony Leap Stones for your armor and you will get Destruction Stone Fragments for the other thing. And then you have your main currency which are the Harmony Shields and this last one is the hardest one to come by. So to get these stones you can simply do your Chaos Dungeons and it will gain you a Destruction Stone, Fragment Stone and a, a lot of Harmony Shards. Same could be said for doing your Guardian Raid. But if you only do these two pieces of content you're missing out on everything starting off with a welcome challenge once you go to the collectibles it will show you absolutely nothing but hey uh, look at this we already get harmony shards we already get harmony leap stones and you can simply view the location and see whatever you need to do for it but also in the gear upgrade there are several achievements in where you can get these stones and you could be saying, Twi, I already know all of this stuff, why are you telling me this? Simply because this is not all. So once you get to the tower, you will get a first clearing a bonus. These are all the items that are listed over here. But if you go to an alt, check the rewards. These are completely different. So some people use their alts to their benefits, actually level them up first to then boost their main account further. How much of a benefit this really is, I'm not quite sure, but you could use this. Then you will find yourself still with a lot of shortage on resources and this is where I would recommend this website to you guys. It's down to the description, make sure to check that one out. This website shows you a near perfect route in where you can find yourself all of the resources that you need. This will also totally eclipse the Guardian Raids and the Chaos Dungeons altogether. So by just using the step to step explained route, you can get yourself to at least item level 500. But with doing all of the quests on that list, I still found myself a shortage from at least 500 to 600. And this is what I did. I got myself into a guild and with the guild donation you get yourself some of these bloodstones. These bloodstones can then be transferred into honing skills and depending on how big your guild is, the more benefit that you get. But there's also a Chaos Dungeon Exchanger, which will tell you that if you do Chaos Dungeon more than twice a day, you will get these Perception Shards. These Perception Shards can then be used in an exchange for all of these upgrading stones per week. But not only that, once you go to C and find yourself the normal tab over here, Pyro Coins can be exchanged for upgrading stones as well. But if you don't have enough Pyro Coins, don't be worried. The quest list that I just showed you will give you these Gina Stones, which can then be transferred into Pyro Coins altogether. Once you clear the Rohendel quest, you find yourself at the Elzowin Shade, and here is the Phantom Palace. The first time that you complete this one on normal mode, you can get yourself some Destruction Stones, some Guardian Stones as well. But if you then do the hard mode for a first time clear, you can get some Harmony Shards that will help you get to 600. One of the last tips that I'm going to give you guys is your top left. It shows you several things that you can do on a timely basis. These can be done every single day. Check out these world bosses and suddenly find yourself that you can get some Destruction Stones, some Guardian Stones as well. But the same when you go to your top right, the Procreon's Compass will show you Nightmare Ships. Which give you practically the same thing. Last but not least are the Chaos Gates and this is content for friends and family. Reason why once you complete this you find yourself having a secret map. Secret maps can be done within a party which means that only one map is spent. Which means that if you do a single Chaos Dungeon you get four maps which means that you get 500 shards every single map. Then there's another reason why this is interesting to do this with friends and family. Because once you do a Chaos Gate, there will be a drop that is a bigger map, which is a legendary, a, a yellow, a orange map, if you will. And the orange map, they generally go for about six to 700 gold. And it seems a rough amount of money until you think about having a collectiveness of gold because you're running this with four people. That is it for all of the tips, ladies and gentlemen. I hope there are things that you didn't know yet which you could use now. Or you're smacking yourself in the head like, I wish I knew this sooner because I did. That being said, if you guys have another tip, put it down into the description. Let me know if I forgot something. But for now, have a nice day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.